here we are, arrived this morning, my three coaches from Hornby. We shall now unpack the box and have a look at the contents. Back in a minute. Here we go. Slight bit of operation with a knife, folks. We shall now open the box up. Oh, well packed in here. Oh, well wrapped up. Thank you. Oh, got some paper here. One of the coaches. It is a R4736 BR Intercity First Class Open Coach. There she go. And here we are, coach number two. It is BR Intercity Mark III Standard Open Coach. And here we are, coach number three. BR 4729 BR Intercity Mark III Buffet Coach. And we have a little leaflet inside as well. 15% off your next order. There you go. And of course the invoice as well. And a multitude of paper. Now then, we shall get these up and running on the track soon. There you go. Here we are, we have the car out of the box, it, it's still in its plastic sleeve for now. I don't think there should be any more accessories in here other than the coat. But we shall have a little scan around it, just in case, before we open the little container up. And yes, you do look rather nice, I have to say that. And we shall get him out of the box in a minute and we shall have a look at it in a little bit more detail. Here we are, we shall now take the plastic casing off. As always, you have to lift it on the corners here, which sometimes can be a little bit stiff at times. And here we are, gently now, with the bottom half slide away, take over the coach and we shall then remove the package in. We shall now have a little look around the coach. There you are. Now if you can see it tidy. There's all the long windows in there. They look like smoked glass at the moment. Like you can't see in the coach properly. Very neat and tidy. We shall look around here. If you notice, the bottom window is smoked out. The top window is in white. We come around here. What I've noticed on this, on a couple of people's... Uh, up your uploads on YouTube that I noticed the door here is half black and half white. Not sure the reason why, must be a reason for that. And we shall now come around the other side of the coach. Here we are, and it looks more or less identical on this side as well. The window over here which is half black and white, same on our side, the long windows down here which is smoked out, and this side over here as well has got the black and white entrances to each of the carriages. There you are, that's the first coach out of the box. We shall now come to the second one. Here we have coach number two. This is the first class coach. It is still in its plastic sleeve. We shall take this out of the sleeve in a second and show you a little bit of detail about it. Here we are. We shall unclip the top by here, which at times is rather stiff. Yep. There we are. We have it unclipped. It is a rather tight fit very often these are. There you go. We put the sleeve down there for a minute. Put that back in the box after, put it to one side. 
There we are, here's the second coach out of the box. And you notice, first class, all the windows seem smoked out. You've got the yellow bar along here indicating it's first class. You have the window over here, which is half white and half black, same as that side. And this side is more or less identical as well. And on the ends, if you may notice, you've got a black edge on the door here and a white edge on that one there. I'm not sure the reason of that. I'm sure one or two will comment on that. And they also the same this side. You notice? And the underneath, as you see, you've got all the bogeys and everything. And that one looks rather neat and tidy. We shall come to the third coach now. Here we have coach number three in its plastic sleeve. This one, by the way, is the buffet car. We shall now take the plastic sleeve off this one. Here we are. Now we shall undo the package in this one. I've had to take the clip off for you, by the way, folks. I've had to put it to one side. It's rather tight there, some of them. So you need both hands to undo them. Here we go. Out of its casing. The casing to one side. Here we are. This one's the buffet car. As you can see, the window is slightly smaller over here. The larger windows over here. This is the cooking kitchen with a look at it. As you can see, white and blacked out window. Probably the toilet window that is. You'll cope me different on it probably. We shall turn it around onto its side and as you can see, the black and white edging around the door, same as the other two coaches. As is the same on this end as well, the black and white edging. And on the far side, as you can see, is the, the windows here. A white, blanked out, for the kitchen, and the normal windows up here. There you go. We shall place them on the track, and we'll have a little run in a minute. And if you notice on the top of this couch, by here, don't we can see it, the little square things by here. Obviously the vents for the kitchen, if you ask me. And if we can quite see it. There you go. We shall now place them on the track and give them a run in a couple of minutes. Hi folks, here we are, another update on Collins Model Railway. And here we are today is an Intercity 125, which I have had in my collection for around 30 years. And she's running quite well. I'm going to give us a little trial run around here now on this little Christmas layout. And we shall see how she goes. Now we're going to move this car on a bit now, because as you can see, this is the old blue and yellow livery, which is from the original cars around about 40 years ago. So we shall move it along now. This one, by the way, is the drive unit car. Now we shall move him up out of the way for him now for a minute, and we shall bring along this little one by here. Now this one by here now is the dummy car unit. The blue and yellow livery as well, into City 125. Now then, we shall give this a little run on the track now in a few minutes. But I'm going to open up the boxes now on three coaches which I bought a couple of days ago for this layout. And we shall see how it goes with the set. Back in a minute. Here we are, Collins Model Railway, up and running again. This is another Christmas edition with my... Intercity 125 train running and the three carriages which I bought a couple of days ago as you can see there's a few Christmas lights there's a couple of Christmas trees there's a couple of Christmas cottages Santa's Express is running and we shall now let it have a little run for a couple of minutes hope you enjoy Now we shall try it from a different angle.
I shall let it run for a minute or two now and I'll get my GoPro camera and ride it on the back of Santa's Express. Back in a minute. Now we should pause the video. Now we should be able to see my GoPro camera riding on the back of Santa's Express. Now we shall give it a different angle of view. And now she'll turn the camera around so her face is backwards. Back in a minute. There you go. Got the camera now facing backwards now on the Santa's Express. We'll give that a run now for a few seconds and try that angle out. Do the fireworks out the back, folks. Now let me bust off a bit early. It's another fortnight of Christmas yet. There you go, now to bring them now to a stop now. I should turn the camera around so it is backwards, back in the hook. You should turn the camera around backwards now, see how it goes now. There you go.
do to play with the hot sauce. Well, that's what I thought it was already. It's not for me, it's just not yet. to a stop now. As you can see, they're all running quite well. Got a big fat controller in the background. Hello! So top and hot. We shall now bring it all to a stop. Uh, she's all running rather well. We did talk to her and very pleased with her. There we go. That's it. Now stop the camera.